Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do a quick video on UFC London. So UFC London was recently cancelled by the UFC, along with the two events after that, which was UFC on ESPN, Ngannou vs Rosenstreak, and UFC Fight Night Overeem vs Harris. So that's all quite interesting, and Dana White came out and basically has said that they're planning to... They're planning to continue with the Habib Ferguson fight. So they're planning to continue with Habib Ferguson, and they're going to do it behind closed doors. That was almost the implication. He said, "Oh, well, we hope this clears up by April, but basically, we're still going to get this fight done. This fight's still going to happen. We may need to move it." So I think that's interesting, and I will give some further opinions on Habib versus Ferguson on another video. But this one is mainly about UFC London and. You know, I just want to start by saying I feel so bad for the fighters that are involved. You know, Leon Edwards in the main event there, obviously there's the undercard fighters that will be massively affected. They'll probably be more affected than the main guys, simply because they get paid so much less money. People don't realise that a lot of these UFC fighters, you know, the training that they will have done in preparation for this fight, they're only going to be affording that with the fight purse that they make. So this has drastically affected all the fighters. So, this is why the UFC is such a different sport from everything else. And I think that's why they're trying to... Whilst they're taking a lot of criticism for not cancelling certain fights, like, people are saying that Lee versus Oliveira should have been cancelled, or that they should just cancel Habib versus Ferguson now. But the thing is, these fighters are preparing, and they only get paid for fighting. They're independent contractors. It's not like the Premier League, where your club pays you, and you essentially work for the company that is Manchester United, or the company that is Liverpool FC, or the company that is Chelsea. The UFC is totally different. They're all independent contractors. So you have to feel sorry for all the fighters on that card and all the fighters on the other two cards that have been cancelled. I mean, I'm absolutely gutted because I was going to go to UFC London. And I've been to UFC twice before. I went to see Bisping versus Anderson, and I also went to see Bisping versus Henderson. And I absolutely loved it both times. Being live at the UFC is incredible. Absolutely incredible. But <clears throat> I understand why it's been cancelled. There can be no travel between the US and the UK. But it's also people do need to understand that the UFC is a completely different sport to football or any of these other team sports that are being completely cancelled. You know, there's talk about the Premier League being voided. You can't just void the UFC. Fighting is a different game. It's the same with boxing, really. Like, fighting in general, combat sports, because the fighters are independent contractors, it makes a massive difference to how it works. It completely screws the fighters over when you cancel an event, because they don't get paid for that. Whereas footballers would be on a weekly wage, a weekly salary. So, this fight, Leon Edwards, it's, it's so, you know, it's, it's almost heartbreaking. He's just been such an unlucky guy. He could have had a title shot two or three times already. You know, he's had a lot of... He's had some really good wins recently. He's just beat... His last three wins, you've got Donald Cerrone, Gunnar Nelson, and Rafael de Sanjos. But the Rafael de Sanjos fight was in July 2019. So you've got this guy that's very good. Great work, great work ethic, great pace, great cardio... And he beats Rafael de Sanjos, who's prob I would probably say the second tier down from the top level at welterweight. And he beat Rafael de Sanjos very easily. So fighting Tyron Woodley was like, this was his chance. This was his chance to move up to that next level. Move up to that next level and prove that he is world class and that he deserves to be fighting for the belt. And he just didn't get the chance to do it. And you've got to be gutted for Leon Edwards on that. I was really looking forward to this fight between him and Woodley because I think the style that he has, I mean, obviously, this is slightly biased coming from an England fan, you know, an, an English MMA fan. So I would have wanted Edwards to win that fight. But I do think that stylistically, he causes a few problems for Woodley. He's got such a high output. And I think Woodley proved that he would struggle with that against Kamara Usman. Now, Woodley's got an equaliser of a right hand, but I do think that it might have been Edwards' time. And he's just not been able to take it as a result of this, quite frankly, man-made disease that's built to kill off the older population. 
So the issue that you've got now is that, by the way, Tyron Woodley, this is also bad for him because he is now 37 or might even be 38. So Tyron Woodley's really getting on. This might be his last couple of years at the very top level. So he really needs to capitalise on that now. And this is why I think that it could be worse than we all think for Leon Edward. I actually think, I'm going to make a bold prediction right here. I don't think this fight ends up happening at all. They've said that they're going to postpone it and reschedule it. But all it takes is for a niggling injury and one of Woodley and Edwards to say, oh no, I can't do it. That's all it takes. And then I honestly feel like Woodley, Woodley versus Covington. Woodley and Covington have, have a lot of bad blood. And that's been quite well documented by the UFC promotion. So I'd be, I'd, would not be surprised if Woodley and Covington end up fighting now that this event's been cancelled because the UFC will see it as an opportunity to make money. And that will result in Leon Edwards getting somebody like Gilbert Burns or Robbie Lawler. You know, somebody that's a very dangerous opponent but doesn't quite propel him into the top level like a Tyron Wood. So again, it's like the fighter who's working really hard in the cage, but some would say not hard enough outside the cage, is going to get shafted. Leon Edwards is going to get shafted, and it's all because of coronavirus. So I think he will get shafted, and he'll have to fight somebody quite, well, a really tough fighter that's not in the top five, like a Gilbert Burns or like a Robbie Lawler. You're going to have to fight someone like that. So it's very sad to see this event get cancelled and, you know, continuous sporting events are getting cancelled. Euro 2020 has just become Euro 2021, which in my previous video I actually said that this would never happen. So, obviously things are getting cancelled left, right and centre. I think that it could get worse from an English perspective. Like the coronavirus could potentially get worse. But as I've said all along, I don't believe that it's spreading because of bacteria. I think this is quite clearly something that's in the air. This is something that is in the air. Because it's just the way that it's spread. It don't get from a Wu-Tang food market to America, Canada, Australia, China. It don't get to all these places from one food market in one small town in one country. So that's just my opinion again. So what do you guys think about Edwards versus Woodley? Do you think that we will see this fight? How disappointed are you that it's been cancelled? Do you think we will see this fight? If not, what do you think is next for both of these guys? Thanks for listening. Please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Peace. Hey guys, welcome.